Hi there people, welcome to Uberman UK. Well I'm going to give you a personal update on the future of this channel. And I know everyone's going to go, oh no, what's he going to announce? Now if you've been following my videos recently, I did do an episode and say, should Uberman call it a day and move on with his life? Especially with these videos which I do. So I have made a decision people and it's good and bad news okay i do recognize that a lot of my subscribers see me as a friend and i'm trust me i'm a friend to you people see me as a friend and a regular blogger about uber and i know a lot of people will be disappointed if let me say if i stop doing blogs and personal updates about myself so i've made a decision i do need to break people of uberman uk I do need to start doing this vi these videos for a while till the end of this year okay so I'm not going to produce any videos about uber or any future videos uh, this year I would remind people I have got an event coming on which is Blackpool I will do a video close that time giving you more pers personal updates and reminding you there is a uberman uk event coming up so i will remind you that but i do need to break people i've got so much going on in my life at the moment i said you've been following my updates <clears throat> i am separated from my wife i need to sort myself out i need to sort my own place out i need to be more of a let me just say a dad i am more of a dad i'll be honest with you people i do see my girls regularly but i need a place to stay I need my own space, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a break, concentrate on doing my job, seeing my girls, and getting myself my own personal man cave, which you can share the experience with me, because I will do a blog of this this house or flat, whichever one I choose, and you can share the experience with me, and I'll show you around, and you can even come for a cup of tea, or even go for a beer, beer, no. I don't really drink in the house, to be honest with you people. I like going to the old-fashioned pub. So I would definitely, if you're ever in Manchester and you ever want a pint, let me know and we'll definitely meet up. And you can meet the famous Uberman UK. So I am going to have a break, people. I am going to call it a day with Uberman UK. And I will, st st and I will do more videos next year. When it will be, we just have to wait and see. It will be early on. But I just need to get this year over with. Because this year has been a year from, of hell. Believe it or not, people, if you've been watching my video, it's been the worst year of my life. It really has. There's a lot of things changed. I'm not one of these people who change quickly. But I have to in my present situation. But sometimes change is good, as people say. So I will be back next year with a brand, not a brand new channel, but brand new videos. And we'll talk about stuff what you want to talk about. So, and I will, we will talk about that more in, later in the video. Because this might be a long one. So, stay tuned about that one. Now, if you haven't watched my videos or you don't know what's going on, we are having an Uberman UK Beer Fest. So, what that actually means is you and I could join in Blackpool for a few jars of good old English beer. You and I can meet in Blackpool for, for a booze for a nice drink or whatever and the event is on the 8th of December at half past 8 and we meet at North Pier outside North Pier where all the gambling and the, you know, the casino we call them casinos if you're American where the arcade is we'll meet out there at half past 8 and we'll hit the town and we'll have a few jars together and you can make meet the famous Uberman UK and spend an evening with him now, I don't admit people are going to turn up for this. No one might turn up. Might just be me or me Todd, which I'm used to at the moment. Or, or 100 people might turn up. Oh, I'd be interested if 100 people turn up to this event. So this is a new thing what I'm, I'm doing. Each year, it's like a Christmas do. You follow me regular. I, I have offers to actually, people want to meet me. This is your chance. Now, I love Blackpool. That's why I picked it. It's the 8th of December, half past eight at North Pier. If you want to join me, people, just come along. I'll be there. I booked a hotel room, which is in the Bed Bedford in Blackpool for two nights. And the event is on the Friday night. 
it's good in Blackpool at weekend. It's a good laugh and it's a good tickle and plus you can meet me. So hopefully I'm asking as many subscribers to come to that event as possible to meet me. Now end of the day, I don't even know you people. You know me a lot because you watch my videos regularly. But I know nothing about you except what you write on my comments. So I would like to meet you face to face. I really would. It would mean a lot to me to actually meet people. Because I'm going to meet you for the first time. Now you've been watching my videos so you know exactly what the person that I am. And what things I get up to. But I don't know nothing about you. So let's meet. How many people are going to turn this up for this event? I haven't got a fog. It's, it's an experiment. We'll do it every year. If one person turns up, fantastic. If 10 people turn up, even better. Okay? So, I'll say it again. I like to repeat myself. The 8th of December at Blackpool. Half past 8 at North Pier if you want to meet. Okay, right. Uber. We're going to do some Uber updates. I haven't done these for a while. I've just... If you've been following my videos recently, I've been plastering every single day with all these videos. Why I'm doing that, could I have a stock of videos which I haven't released. So I'm releasing all of them to get them all out of the way because I want a fresh start. I want to give up with Uberman UK for a few months and get my life sorted. So that's why I've been plastering these videos out every day. And you're probably sick of that, sick of them. But this is this will be the last one for quite a few months, people. So there'll be so there'll be no updates about Uber, even if it goes kabud, if it goes kabud, I won't do an update. Okay? But next year, start of the year, I will be back. On the first of January. Okay, I wish you a new year and I will do regular blogs and I will start all over again. Get me life in sort sorted. You can share the experience with it me or we'll talk about uber we'll talk about other stuff whichever you want to talk to because as you gather i do like yapping i can't help it so you imagine me in blackpool with a few beers imagine how much i'll be yapping then well we'll see please join me people please do there's a lot happening in uber at the moment with this appeal situation this is going to go on for years and me personally am i worried about uber being kicked out of London, no, not whatsoever. I think it's the biggest publicity stunt. Because I'll be honest, for me as an example, this Uber is gr this negative. Any negative, what's on the news is great marketing for Uber. I bet their profits have shot up because end of the day, everyone's talking about it. Even my channel is going up. My views are going up because everyone wants to know about Uber. And everyone's trying Uber, and so I don't think this is. I think this is one a publicity stunt. Am I wrong? Because they have put the appeal in, and this appeal will last years because there's so many courts they have to go through now before Uber actually says bye bye. And two years, who knows what's going to happen in two years? But what happens in London will happen from the rest of the UK, which I've said on pre previous videos. So, we'll just have to see about that. I know, I know recently in the news, I'm sorry about this fella, Yazin Aslam, he asked me to do a few videos about Uber demonstrations and marches. I'm sorry fella, I have so much going on, I am about to do these videos. I do apologise, I do feel a bit bad, he wanted one to one interview with Uberman UK and stuff like that, it never happened. I apologise again, Yazin. I just I haven't got the heart of Uber now. You mentioned the word Uber and it just goes through me because I've got it's me. It's not Uber, it's me. And it's not YouTube, it's me. I need to get my life sorted. Someone said to me, one of my subscribers, which hit the nail on the coffin, he said to me, Sort your life out and come back to Uberman UK. We actually said, quote, sort your consultation. <laughs> sort you out and then come back to Uberman UK and that really touched home you're perfectly right I need to concentrate more on myself and then come back to you which I will in January I wish you all happy new year and the next year I will start afresh as they say new year's resolution is get on with my life it's not even happened yet I want a fresh start by then I should have my own house I should have more stability in my life 
hopefully nothing else bad happens so I keep telling to myself fingers crossed touch wood so well I'm gonna do a few shout outs because I know you're gonna miss me I'm gonna miss you too so I'm gonna do a few <laughs> can't get any words out a few shout out to, to people which is uber DC that's an American guy he does regular blogs and he gave me the idea for Uberman UK. And also, let's get back to this country, shall we? Also, we're going to do a shout out to Uber, Frankie Uber. I appreciate that fella. Now check his channel out, Frankie Uber. I think he's in Reading. Definitely go to have a look at his channel. He does similar to myself. I do talk to him regularly. He actually bought my CCTV off me when I give up Uber. So I'll give you a sh big shout out, Frankie Uber and he is more intense go and have a look at his channel subscribe to his channel he does stuff like me and tell what you think and i like his intro okay when he starts he goes could i always say um hi there people now he says hi there my people <laughs> it makes me tickle every time he's seen it now how do you do what do you copy that now it's good i do like it, it makes me laugh Hello there, my people, he says. <laughs> oh, it makes me giggle every time. So, check your chat out. Tell me what you think of his intro. Hi there, my people. Honestly, it's great. It's unique. And that's what you need to new YouTube. Something unique. Also, there's another one. What's called? Birmingham. Uber Birmingham. That's another gentleman you need to check out. Similar to myself. Also, Driver Joe. He's, um, I think he's Liverpool or something. Somewhere like that. Geordie. He's a Geordie. Sorry if I've got that wrong. But check out. He does quite a, quite a lot of videos. And But I've noticed since I started doing these videos. Everyone seems to be on the bandwagon. Which I don't have a problem. Because it's more interesting. I look and watch other people this time. Which is quite really good. So if anyone else wants to do Uber. And they say Uberman. If anyone else wants to do Uber updates, please do. It makes me interested, you see. I can watch other people doing so watching myself. So check that out. And I want also thank my subscribers. You are the best people. And I've said this many times. I appreciate every one of you. And I'm still getting subscribers every day, sign up through my channel. So thank you very much. Any time you want to send me a message, send me a message. I'll always answer it. Now, a lot of YouTubers don't answer their messages. But I have a policy of answering every single one. Unless you say something disrespectful or really downright nasty, I won't answer them. I haven't got time for them. So, but I will answer every single one of my subscribers. I really will. Right, a person, I'm going to give you a personal update about me, okay? my house is going up is nearly sold and I will get the proceeds of the money to get my own house because at the moment I can't afford my own place I'm paying so much out you see so I need my own personal place now I need to st I'm still paying for the mortgage on my old house where my children live but on my wage I can't really afford it I can just about survive each month so that's why the proceeds of the house which is going through would help me buy a new one and I'd be able to set up a new, either renting or mortgaging. Because mum and dad are alright, they really are. But you need your own space, don't you? Like they're there making sandwiches in the morning, or my tea's on the table, my ironing's done. It's alright at first, but I'm a man, I want to do things myself. I do love you mum and dad, if you ever watch this, I doubt you will, because you don't even know what YouTube is, <laughs> like many old folks. But I do need my own personal space, and the important thing, I do need a room for my children. I will get this ability when the, when the family house is sold, and I'll be able to get my own place. But, but I'll have to wait till that goes. It is going through, it won't be much more longer. Next time I do a person update, then hopefully hopefully if everything's done and sorted i've got my own place and my old bunk bags for my girls most important room that bunk bags for my girls and my xbox one which 
I like Xbox, I like playing games. Because I'll be on my own that then. I'll, I'll have my own man cave. It'll just be me. I'll have my own Xbox. I'll have the house to myself. Peace and quiet. Until the guilt's come. Which hopefully is a few times a week, hopefully. But we'll sort that. We really will. My girls. You ever watch these videos, Lana and Sophie? I love you more than the world itself. I would do anything for you in the world. Because I do love you. I really do. And that's why I'm doing all this for you. You're my goal. I need to make you happy. I need, you need to be with your dad. You need some stability. I know it's hard for you at the moment. But they are improving and getting better. They really are. I do love you. I really do. If you ever one day when you're women. God, I can't imagine you women. They're about five and three now, but one day they will be. And they will look at these videos and say, that's me, Dad. I love you more than anything in the world. And children bring so much joy in my life. And we will get there. We will get there. <laughs> on my own, eh? That's what, that's what thing I'm going to struggle for. With being on my own in my own place, I've never been on my own ever. I've never. There's always been someone there to rely on, but now it's just me. It's just Steve. It is. It's just Steve. But I'll get through it. It might be good being on my own. Come on, play me Xbox. <laughs> and I can bring me girls. To go to the pub. Yeah, you can go to the pub. Go to the pub as much as you want. You can go in your bed, fart in the bed and waft the covers. <laughs> 8 out of 10. <laughs> and no one complains, it'll just be you, which is something, yeah, I suppose I'm looking forward to it. Money-wise, I'm struggling like anything, to be honest with you. I do work at, I really told you then, didn't I? I? I work at on the buses. I work on the buses. I work 30 hours, at, and they said it, I work about 30 hours plus on like an annualised contract which is they set the hours for me okay they set the hours which is fine in the peak period you do more and the off peak you do less so it works a balance in that way so in summer times i can be working really busy which i don't mind and the winter it does slow down and i get round about i come out with i can tell you everything now aren't i i get round about come out with Exactly one thousand two hundred pounds a month after tax, and not one thousand two hundred pounds after tax and insurance and my pension. That's what I get each month, which it's not bad. It's it's over ten quid an hour for thirty hours. I get about three hundred quid a week, and I survive. I can just survive. I really can. When I get my own mortgage, well, I'll, I'll struggle again. But I'll get there. Like any other blokes, I will struggle. But we'll get there. Also, what else do I need to tell you and give you an update? So next year, I'm going to do... I'm not going to start a new channel. It's still, still going to be Uberman UK. Do you want me to still talk about Uber? Do you want me to do personal blogs about myself? What do you want on my Uberman UK channel? Do you want a new channel? Forget Uber altogether. Do you want updates? You tell me what you want. And because you're my subscribers, end of the day, aren't you, people? You're my friends. I don't do this for money. Can you get peanuts for working, working YouTube unless you have about a million subscribers? As I said before, you get, I've earned about £40 through the revenue through YouTube, and that's don't even cover the camera cost and the editing software so there's no money involved so you tell me what you want on uberman uk what do you want and that's it people for this year i'm not going to do any other blogs this year unless i remind you a week before my blackpool fest if you want to come hopefully you do but i will not do any updates about uber or anything like that till next year take care people i will see you at uberman uk and I'll see you next year. Still subscribe to my channel. St still recommend my channel. And I will see you next year. Uberman UK 2017 is signing out for the last time. I'll see you in 2018.
hopefully things are better. Thanks very much, people. Uberman UK signing out. Oh, yeah. And before I go, Frankie Uber, let me just say, hello, my people. <laughs> I can't help it. It makes me laugh every time. It's good. Keep it up. It's unique. And that's what you want on a video. Something what people remember by. That makes me remember you. Keep it up. Take care. Uberman UK signing out.